Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here or Luna. So today's story time is definitely kind of a funny one and also kind of cringe looking back at it and how I used to be. But I haven't really talked about it on this channel before and I figured, you know what? Why not? Let's talk about it. So um, back in the day when I was like 15 before I really, you know, became who I am today, I went through a lot of phases to uh, become the person I am today. You know, I had a phase where I was like, super into music production and luckily that kind of stuck with me so you know we're doing good now but um I also had other phases that weren't so you know like good for example when I was like 13 to like 14 I went through this phase of like wanting to be a hacker like I used to go on Twitter and see people getting hacked and think like I want to be the one doing that like I want to be you know the top dog and like take people's accounts and shit and be super like mysterious and uh, yeah, looking back, that's just like really, really lame. But um, yeah, back when I was 13, that's, that's what I thought. So uh, I started to do some research on how people did that. And I started to learn a thing or two. And yeah, today's story time is about one of my uh, moments as a wannabe hacker, I would say. So let's get into it. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day when I was 14 years old. Now, at this point, I had learned quite a few things about, you know, how to take people's accounts and stuff like that and how to, like, find out info on people and use it to get their accounts. Just all that cringe-ass shit. So, uh, yeah, um, I was 14 and I was just browsing the internet, as I did. And another thing about 14-year-old me is I was going through a huge Minecraft phase. Yeah, so uh, not only was I a wannabe hacker, but I was also a wannabe Minecraft YouTuber. Not a good combo. But anyway, yeah, I was going through a huge Minecraft phase, and I would join a lot of servers and, like, you know, play Hunger Games and shit like that. And one day, I joined this Hunger Games server on Minecraft, just, like, solo playing, not playing with any friends. And I'm playing, just kicking ass in Hunger Games, as I did at 14 years old. And this kid in the lobby randomly starts talking shit to me. He starts calling me a random, which used to be a term for, like, you're irrelevant starts calling me, like, terrible at the game, all these stupid, like, playground insults, right? And if there's one thing that you need to know about 14-year-old me, is I had a fucking very short temper. I had a very, very, very short temper. And anything people would say to me online, I took to heart very quickly. I don't do that nowadays, but back then, man, it was a problem. So when he started insulting me, I took it to heart, and I got really, really offended. And I start typing back, and I'm like, you're a fucking pussy, like, I just kicked your ass, I won the game, this, this, and that, like, I was taking it personal, right? And uh, he wouldn't stop talking. He just kept calling me every insult in the book back then, and uh, I kept getting more and more angry the more he would say stuff. So eventually, I end up getting a little bit too angry, and I'm like, if you don't stop talking, I'm gonna hack your Minecraft account. And he replied, and he was like, oh, sure you can, buddy, and he called me a script kitty, which back in the day, that meant you were, you know, a wannabe hacker, essentially. And I was like, oh, you want to see what a script kitty can do? And immediately I logged out of that lobby and I went online and I got to work. Now, I'm not going to give you guys an in-depth tutorial of what I used to do to hack people's accounts because one, it's just super cringe. Two, I don't want people going and repeating this and, you know, hacking people's accounts and shit. And also, like, finally, I'm pretty sure most of these methods I used to use are pretty outdated today and wouldn't even work. So I'd rather just leave them in the past. But anyway, uh, I went online and uh, I was on this website that a lot of dorky hacker kids were a part of. And I'm not going to say exactly what the website was, but essentially a lot of people online that were, you know, shady hacker type people would use it and um, that would help them gain access into the accounts they were trying to hack. So I went on there, I typed in this kid's Minecraft username, and within five minutes, literally five minutes, I had this kid's password and his email. And, uh... I went and logged into it, and I kicked him off his own Minecraft account. I changed his password, I hacked that shit, I also like went and traded all of his items over to me like a fucking cringe lord, and then I logged out. Now after I did that, I went onto my email, like my actual email, and I sent his email an email from mine, saying, hey man, remember when you said I couldn't do anything? Who's the script kitty now? Just being a total like piece of shit basically, right? And he immediately responds to the email like two minutes later, and he goes, give me my Minecraft account back or I'm going to fuck you up. To which I start laughing, right? Because I'm like, I'm not giving him his account back. Like, he talked all that shit. It's mine now, right? Just being a little troll. And I thought it would be hilarious if I just replied with a troll face image. 
So I downloaded a troll face PNG and emailed it back to him. And he responds immediately again. And he goes, last warning, give me my account back or I'm going to get my friend to fuck you up. And I replied again and said, ha 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 ha, XD. Fucking so lame, dude. And uh, I didn't hear from him for like an hour, right? So I thought, okay, like, that's it. I win. He loses. I'm a badass little hacker kid. No one can touch me, right? Yeah, I was so wrong about that. I was so, so fucking wrong. Like an hour later, uh, I go to log in to my Facebook and I'm logged out. Can't get into that for some reason. I thought that I just forgot my password or something. Figured I'd reset it later, whatever, right? Get on Xbox, try and play some COD. My Xbox is signed out. I try and sign into that. Can't get in. So now I start getting a little bit worried, right? I'm like, okay, is this just a coincidence? Like, why are two of my accounts, like, inaccessible? Like, that's weird, right? So then I try and get on my PlayStation. Can't get in that. And essentially, I just end up going through every account I have, and they are all completely signed out, and I can't log in with my passwords. And I tried to change the passwords, and I wasn't getting emails to change them. So I'm assuming the emails on my accounts were also changed. And yeah, I basically just started having an anxiety attack, right? Because I'm like, holy shit, someone hacked all my stuff. What the fuck? And uh, I get an email on my email like 10 minutes later after realizing all this, being like, hey, you want to give my friend his accounts back? And that confirmed it. This fucking Minecraft kid had his own hacker like in the palm of his hand, just like ready to defend him if anyone ever fucked with him. And he was clearly a much better hacker than my dumbass was. And he stole all my shit. So uh, I replied and I said, hey, man, I'll give him his account back. Just give me my stuff first. And he goes, no, 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 no. You give our stuff back first. And if you do, maybe I'll consider not swatting your ass. So immediately, without hesitation, I gave this dude his accounts back. Because I was not trying to have my door kicked down by the fucking SWAT team and uh, deal with that. And uh, yeah, a couple minutes later, all of my stuff got sent back to me by email. And uh, I just had to ask him. I was like, hey man, how'd you get my stuff? Like, what did I do wrong? And he replied and said, you really want to know? The minute your dumbass sent my friend an email and gave him your email address, I had everything from you. I only needed the name of your email to find everything else out about you. So good job covering your tracks, bro. He was obviously being sarcastic. And uh, I felt like an idiot. And needless to say, needless to fucking say, I never hacked, quote unquote, hacked anyone ever again. Because I learned my lesson the hard way. And that there are many actual hackers out there who can actually hack people and ruin their lives. Um, unlike what I was doing, just taking Minecraft accounts, being cringe. But hey, I will say... I did get one thing out of this. I got all of this dude's items off of his Minecraft account in that server that we were in together. I got his goddamn diamonds, his food. I got everything. So, you know, I may have gotten all my accounts hacked temporarily, but uh, he never asked for his stuff back in that Minecraft server, and I kept it. So, you know, kind of W me, kind of. Nah, not really. But yeah, guys, uh, just a funny little story about how I learned my lesson the hard way as to why I should never try and be a spooky hacker again. And also why you guys probably shouldn't either, because it can lead to some troublesome situations. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. I'm back now, by the way. I finished up all the album demos, so I'm back to my YouTube and streaming grind. So come check out my stream below. I'm live every night, and uh, I'll be uploading daily as well. So yeah, feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.